Good afternoon, everybody. Drew here in the office. If I seem a little rushed uh, today, it's because I am. I have uh, like an hour and a half to pack up my orders and get them to the post office. So let's see what's sold quickly and pull those, get them packed and on their way. Finally got back up above 300 listings, up to 307 active. Um, so sales should start evening back up, evening back up, evening back out uh, over the weekend and then should be back to normal starting next week. Uh, first thing up is a vintage Pyrex uh, glass bowl, one of those nesting style bowls, uh, the blue one. And that is, voila, right here. Um, I found something out when I was listing a few of these that uh, most of them have, let's see right here, uh, this type of mark, this type of mark, but if they don't, and it has like a patent number on it, that they're older and actually worth more money. This isn't one of them, but a different one that I listed. So got that, and that sold for uh, $14.50 plus shipping. Um, one of my favorite things to sell, gaming stuff of almost any kind because it sells quickly. Um, a Nintendo DSi, no charger, but with a box. Um, pick that up with a bunch of other stuff that I'll be listing next week and Xbox. And I bought some games from a kid and I said, hey, if you have any other game stuff, just feel free to message me. He's like, oh, I, I have stuff at home. Let me go see what I have. And he messed me and he had an Xbox and a PS2 and a bunch of stuff and he sold it all to me. Um, actually, he, wanted to, he had a bunch of games too, but he wanted way too much money for them. People overvalue games because they see like, oh, they're 10 bucks a piece, but that's 10 bucks free shipping. So I said, what about just the consoles? And he gave me a great deal. But um, $45 plus shipping on that. Uh, next up, spoke about in my last video, um, Tupperware, while I was listing a bunch of it. And when you list a bunch of something, usually it sells. So I have a Jadeite Green um, Lettuce Keeper. That, let's see, you can see here, got piles of it, more other places as well. I finally implemented a um, category uh, shelving system. A, it's escaping me. I'm sure I'll think of it in three seconds here. But, um, so I, what I did is I labeled them shelves A, B, and so on, and then, um, and then the shelves on each unit one, two, three, four. Real simple, but that way, you know, I don't have to search everywhere for something. These I know where they are because I put them there recently. So got that. That sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Um, next up, uh, the last of those, that bad buy of wrenches. So bad buy, but flipped in a week. Oh, I guess I do have one small one left, but Ford USA uh, vintage, like 1940s wrenches this is the final one 825 free shipping not a lot of money but it took a week and they all sold and i've already made money so i mean they were easy to list i can't really complain about that um up next we have uh let's see a bird one it's uh, another one of the smoky the bear um like classroom um posters different you know one was uh, I'm a fun guy or something like that with mushrooms on it. Um, see, this one has think leaves. Uh, leave a good impression. I think that's like animal feet, footprints, feet prints. Um, eat, drink, be careful. Don't light up the night. Ah, birds. Thanks to you, birds. It's not, I pre-packed all of them. Um, I might, I said before, I might start doing that a little more often with certain things. These, it made a lot of sense that my hands were on them, roll them up, easier to store them. Um, but I paid two bucks for about 15 of these and they're selling great. And this one, uh, $29.99 um, plus shipping. So, so that is a really good buy. You can do the math on that. Last thing to pull today, um, really good sale. Oh, maybe. I did free shipping on that. I wonder why. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's small. I don't know. But I bought a huge lot of like 
uh, outdoor furniture and umbrella and fire pit covers, like canvas covers. And they're slow moving, but the return on them is, is good. So they were, it was easy to list. It was like five listings. I got a bunch of them. And then I just have to um, wait it out. I'm probably gonna move those to storage, especially now that it's you know into the colder months. I do forget other states have you know better better weather, so they do have you know summer conditions and nice conditions later. So I'm I'm always confused when one sells, but I'm like, oh yeah, people live other places than I do. Uh, it's a CP932 fire pit cover. I might have to sit you down for this. It's a hard you know it's not a good. Oh wow, right on top CP. 932 fire pit protective cover and now i don't know it says free shipping but did they order two of them because it appears that they paid more than that so let's back that up yeah quantity two they bought two of them great um i might ship those separately i don't know it says free shipping so we'll we'll see how that works out if it's i don't think it's gonna go first class it might fit in like a, a um, regional B. I think it might fit in that. So let's hope the second one's just as easy to find. And yes, it is. So we got two of those. Lots of restaurants, golf courses, things like that. They buy them for their, you know, patios and stuff. And right now every restaurant and anything has to have a patio seating. So, so that's most likely why it's sold now. Oh, in Malibu, California. It's because they have nice weather. It's still summer in Malibu at least Michigan summer. All right, so yeah, that's all for today. Pretty good. Um, it's, it's speeding back up, getting back to normal. So I'm gonna get these packed up, rush them out to the post office. My post office closed at four. So that's that's a pain in my butt, especially on days where the girlfriend works and then I gotta do stuff after. Um, so I'm gonna say bye for now. So I actually had plenty of time, got everything packed up. Um, I always think I don't have enough time, but that, but yeah, those two, uh, fire pit covers, they almost like so close to fitting in one of these with a cap on the top. And if I smashed it in there, it would have fit. These are just 1095 regular priority mailboxes and it would have shipped for like 22 bucks priority, but I would have had to smash it in there. So it wasn't going to work. So what I did is I just wrapped it and you can see it's not pretty at all. I got their address covered up here. Just wrapped it in a large box I had. And then I um, kind of pinch sealed and, and taped all that up real good on this side and then cut a box top on the other side, folded it and taped it. Um, and it's an ugly box, but the reason I figured I'd throw the camera back on is if you do something like this, which is perfectly fine, it's actually shipping um, UPS because it ended up being dimensionally too big uh, this way to be it was like ended up being like 46 bucks priority but i had free shipping on these i think to compete with other sellers is what i if i'm remembering correctly when i listed them um but i figured just to clarify how you do something like this a box that doesn't have normal shapes kind of like this one as well how do you how do you put in dimensions for something that has a you know it's not a square um so what you do is you have to pick your largest point so with this one width wise because i me sandwiching it here to here was about two inches longer then from here to here. So I take this longest measurement, this longest measurement, and then it's, let's see if I get a profile. See, it tapers down. Um, so this measurement, your thickest. So your three longest measurements, no matter the dimension, no, no matter the shape of the box, though your longest dimensions you have to use for each one of your dimensions, would end, which ended up being like uh, 17, 17 this way, 23 this way and then um i think it was four and then U ups ended up being about 18 bucks and luckily i had free shipping on it so i could freely switch that out to ups instead of completely screwing myself over and paying 45 dollars or even reboxing it and jamming it into one of those because that would have been the next thing if i had no option but priority i would have had to just jam it in there and hope they didn't complain about it which they probably wouldn't have I just didn't want to do that. Even though this looks ugly, it's packed better in here. So I figured I'd hop back on and show you how I did that. This is stupid.
So as I suspected, this is a colossal waste of time. Um, most of the ones are missing parts. I got a lot of them from, uh, it was a fundraiser sale that they do for the Humane Society in my town. And it's huge. They take the fairground, they have 10, 15 buildings, and they bring truckloads for weeks filling this thing up. And I went the last like hour of it and just was picking electronics. Just everything I could get my hands on, cords, stuff. I found some good stuff, clocks, different things. But the phones, I mean, almost none of these have matching bits and pieces. Now, the I was just about to give up. That's why I figured I'd pick up the camera and, and put my thoughts on, on video. Um, I was just about to give up and say, this is a waste of my time. Because I'm two hours into this, and I've got uh, $37 in phones listed um, and a bucket full of useless electronic trash uh, which you could sell but you're making I mean after shipping you're making a dollar or two so to clean them even wasn't was wasn't even worth my time so it's like a lot of other things if it's clean if it's all together if it has its box all those things come into into factor but so I also have a few that were just bags from uh, Goodwill or um, Habitat or any of these places where they've been donated in and I and I actually paid okay money for them, some money for them. Um, and I was just about to give up and then I unbagged this one specifically. It's a Panasonic set. Um, it's three additional and then the base um, with a phone and that is $50 shipped. So, you know, this will probably ten dollars shipped depending on where it goes seven seven eighty i think is the lowest it goes so eight eight to ten dollars um so forty bucks so just like everything else there is value but it's in that ten percent ninety percent is going to be trash the ten percent that's where you want to stay that's where your time is worth it that's where your money invested is worth it um so i'm not going to trash them all I'm just gonna switch gears and start with the stuff that is all together and somewhat clean, which is what I should have done in the first place. But I kind of wanted to punish myself a little bit for uh, the stupidity of having buckets of phones. So let me work through these a little bit and kind of see where I end up with. Okay, just to wrap up uh, my feelings, thoughts on phones. Um, number one. Out of all the stuff I had, which is about three and a half of these, this is all waste. Uh, either didn't have cords or batteries or all the pieces, or if it had all the pieces, it wasn't worth the effort of picturing and cleaning and shipping and testing. Um, so this is just junk. This will go to recycling. I wish there was a better way to do it. I'll probably pop, pop the batteries out and put those in my um, battery recycling just to you know, help the environment the best I can. Uh, would I do this again? That seems to be a theme going. Would I do this again? Like all things, yes and no. There's the 10% where stuff's actually worth money, and then there's the 90% where you got, you got junk. So if you buy them complete, clean, and they have value, because one of the ones I listed was 50 bucks, the other one was 40 bucks, and I paid less than five for both. So all in all, for all I had, I only had about 20 bucks into all of it. So not, you know, a big financial input, um, but total ended up with $170 before shipping. So, cause I charged shipping. So $170, got about 20, $30 into it. So that's okay profit. Took me about four hours to clean and do all of them. Um, and then what I did end up with a lot of them, just the phone itself, just the cordless unit was worth it because then the shipping super cheap, $9.99 free shipping. So that was easy, list most, multiple listings. Um, but after the 170, I do also have an abundance. I, I pillage these from, and I'm gonna probably pull out one of each because you'll, you'll get, you know, six volt, 350 milliamp, 5.2. And for testing and different things, I'll probably pull out one of each that I have available just to have for testing and other things that come through. And then the rest, you know, you get five, 10 bucks each for these and they're easy to list. So I'll, I'll sort through those and list those. So I'll have probably another, let's see, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. I'll keep half of them. So probably looking at 200 bucks total, four hours of work, 
just it would have been smarter for me to just do it when I got them, not amass them. That's that's never going to be my plan going forward. Um, but there is some value in anything, just how much effort and time are you wanting to put into it. Um, but for me, phones are still going to be on my list of things as long as they're already clean, all the parts are there, all of it's functional, and, and it has an above $20 um, price point. Because b below that, just in general, I've, I've mentioned in, in a couple videos, space is limited. Space does cost you money, even if it's not um, monetary coming out of your wallet. Space does have a value. So if it's not above the 20 buck mark, and so your business phones, your larger phones, your larger sets of phones where there's a base and then five or six or three or four, you know, however many additional phones that go with it, that's where your value is. Your niche ones, actually, let me grab one. I listed this a while back, but in the box, clean. I think this was new, never used possibly, but I still put it as used because it's open. But the big button or the ones that are for people with um, hearing problems where they have a light on them, stuff like that, that stuff still sells very well because the market for them is, um, I think, probably your older crowd who most likely still have a house phone of some kind. So just like everything else, the money is in the 10%, not the 90%. It's just figuring out what is the 10%. So now I have a very good idea after sorting through all of them. And hopefully, you know, follow along in the video a little bit. Maybe maybe you'll have a good idea too. Watch the next few videos and hopefully you'll see how quickly they sell as well. I sold one almost immediately. Um, it, was the one, it was one of the just the, the heads, handsets. Um, so $9.99 free shipping, but that's, you know, quick five bucks, four bucks in my pocket. So you always like you always like when you're listing for something to immediately fire, something to immediately to uh, send back out. So that'll be it for this video. I hope it was at, if you didn't enjoy it, at least it was helpful. And if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. Um, possibly share it with your friends. I'm trying to grow my channel, just a brand new channel, trying to get viewers. Um, if not, I'm still gonna do it because maybe down the road it'll be helpful to somebody. But yeah, like, share, dislike, comment. I would love to hear questions, what you want to hear, anything you need to know, um, or if you have any advice to give me, you know, maybe something I can implement into my daily routine or into my, my business plan. So any, anything is, is definitely helpful in the, the resale um, community, which it kind of is a, commu a community. It, it is a community. Um, there's a lot of people that like the interaction and, and they're, they're more than willing to, to help each other and, and let, let you know. Hey, I, I tried this. Maybe, maybe you like that. So, so if you like it, like it, uh, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon. They, you know, they do always do this, pointing in directions. It never matches up with where it goes. But, but if you like it, that's great, and I appreciate it. So, enjoy yourselves.